Welcome to PaleoHub, where we talk about dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals. For this video, we will be looking at 10 facts on the Herrerasaurus. Number 1. Herrerasaurus ischigualastensis was one of the earliest dinosaurs in the fossil record to have ever lived. It lived around 231 million years ago, during the late Triassic period, specifically the Carnian stage. During this time, generally the climate in the tropics was arid, and most of the land masses had merged into a single supercontinent called Pangaea, which leads us to number two. Number two, Herrerasaurus used to live in what is now the Isquiguala Stop Basin in Argentina. But back then, it was a whole different environment there. It was an area of volcanic floodplains dominated by rivers. The climate was warm and moist, influenced by seasonal rainfall. Conifer trees that reach 40 meters high and ferns and horsetails were some of the common vegetation there. Number 3. Herrerasaurus displays traits typical in many groups of dinosaurs. Growing to 6 meters long and 1.5 meters tall, it was a bipedal dinosaur with short clawed forearms for grasping prey. Its longer hind legs and partially stiffened tail gave it balance and speed for running. While the shape of the pelvis hip bone is similar to that of Sorischian dinosaurs, its pubis bone points backward like those in birds and dromaeosaurs. Its narrow skull was similar to primitive archosaurs like Euparcuria and lacked the specialization in some theropods that would appear after it in the millions of years to come. Classifying the Herrerasaurus had been difficult, with it getting categorizations from basal Sorischian to basal theropod commonly used today. Number 4. The narrow skull of the Herrerasaurus bears a lower jaw that could slide back and forth thanks to a flexible joint. This is helpful as it allows the dinosaur to flex its jaw and grasp quarrelsome prey effectively. Its teeth were serrated suitable for biting and eating flesh and meat. Number 5. In 1959, a goat herder was fortunate enough to come across the fossilized creature. The dinosaur was later on named in his honor as it means Herrera's lizard. After that, for three decades, our knowledge of the dinosaur was scarce, making categorizing the dinosaur no easy task because paleontologists relied on limited specimens until fact number 6. Number 6. In 1988, a nearly complete Herrerasaurus skull was discovered by a team from Chicago, USA, led by paleontologist Paul Sereno. This Herrerasaurus skull discovery really helped paleontologists today understand how to classify the dinosaur further. By the way, Paul Sereno is known for his highly publicized discovery of the near-complete specimen of the supercroc Sarcosuchus. Number 7. Unfortunately, Herrerasaurus was not the top predator in the region. It had to compete with, or to not fall prey, avoid the Saurosuchus, a rawisukid closely related to crocodilians. Estimated to grow up to 9 meters long, Saurosuchus was a robust, quadrupedal, carnivorous archosaur and a major carnivore in its environment. Puncture wounds made by the Saurosuchus were found on one of the Herrerasaurus skull specimens. Number 8. At such a time when dinosaurs were not the dominant land-dwelling creatures, Herrerasaurus lived alongside many different reptiles, from fellow early dinosaurs to archosaurs to mammal-like synapsids. Joining the ranks of Herrerasaurus as one of the earliest known dinosaurs is the Eoraptor. A slender dinosaur, this 1 meter long omnivore was one of Herrerasaurus's common prey. The 2 meter long Chromogisaurus was also living in this region. It was a sauropodomorph dinosaur, meaning it was one of the ancestral relatives to the sauropods that would grow to be the largest dinosaurs in the later periods of the Mesozoic era. The largest potential prey for the Herrerasaurus was the synapsid Ischigualastia, which grew to 3.5 meters long and weighed about 1 to 2 tons. There were also other prey for the Herrerasaurus. Pisanosaurus, for example, was a slender 1 meter long omnivorous reptile, which was previously considered to be an Ornithischian dinosaur, but is now considered a Silosaur instead. One common prey to the Herrerasaurus 
was the Archosaur Hyperodapodon. This stocky animal grew to 1.3 meters long and had beak-like premaxilla or cranial bones at the tip of the upper jaw for digging seed ferns. Another herbivorous animal available was the 2.4 meter long Atosauroids. It was an armored archosaur. Other neighbors also included the Silosuchus, an archosaur which could look like a dinosaur but was actually more closely related to crocodiles. Capable of growing to 10 meters long, it was the largest reptile in the area. Near the rivers, the Archosauromorph Proterocampsa that grew to 2 meters long filled the niche of modern day crocodiles. There were also small amphibians like Pelorocephalus that swam about. These animals grew to only 107 centimeters long. Number 9. Herrerasaurus is the largest genus from the Herrerasauridae family. Like the Herrerasaurus, the other theropods in this family exhibit primitive and unspecialized traits. These genera include the smaller 3 meter long Sanjuanosaurus also from the same region, the Storicosaurus from Brazil, and Chindosaurus from southwestern United States. And finally, number 10, Herrerasaurus has yet to appear on the big screen, but it is notable in some Jurassic Park franchise video games. In Jurassic Park the game, a pack of Herrerasaurus attacks the player in the story as they ride the Bone Shaker roller coaster. In Jurassic World Evolution, Herrerasaurus is the only Triassic dinosaur that you can add into your parks with the Carnivore Pack DLC. In the video game The Isle, players can hunt and survive as Herrerasaurus, the fastest dinosaur in the game, in sandbox mode. Thank you for watching this video. Share your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe today for more paleontology related content.